Welcome to Studio Lighting Techniques in Maxwell Render. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. Welcome back to part 6. In this video I'll show the effect of using a coloured reflector. So here's my setup as I currently have it. On the left I've got an emitter, on the top I've got an emitter, and on the right I've got a reflector with its own unique material so that I can interactively adjust the amount of reflectance that it's giving. But first of all, I'm going to rename this material. Instead of diffuse grey, I'm going to select it, press return, and call it right reflector, so that I know that that's the right reflector material. Then double click to open it, and on the reflectance zero, click on the color to open it. And this time, instead of using HSV values, I'm simply just going to click in the color wheel to pick a color. And for this, I'm going to want a slightly orangey sort of color. I'll explain why shortly. If I go back to my close-up view by double-clicking my close-up camera, you can see the effect that this has had on the scene. There's still white light coming from the left and the top, but now light that's falling onto the right-hand side of the scene is bouncing off of the reflector and coming back, and it's bringing with it some of the colour of the reflector. In photographic studios, sometimes a gold reflector is used to introduce some warm light into the scene, and I can fine-tune the colour of this reflector to get the effect that I want. Usually subtle colours work best, and if I make this very, very red, it doesn't look good at all. It's a very strong effect, but it's not what I'm after in this case. So a nice subtle orange colour usually works best. If you want to introduce some cool lighting into the scene, you can also use a blue colour. Again, subtlety usually works best. And it's important to remember that this blue light isn't coming from an emitter. Light is coming out of the emitters on the side and the top, bouncing off of the blue reflector and back into the scene. Using coloured reflectors can make a good effect if using a coloured emitter would be too strong. And that's the effect that I'll show in the next video. For more information about support, consultation and mentoring in CAD and Maxwell Render at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.